The Commission meets today to discuss information about steam generators, including recent operating experience and the NRC's regulatory <coughs> oversight. While ongoing steam generator tube degradation issues at the San Onofre Nuclear Generating Station have made recent news, the NRC has been evaluating and addressing steam, generating, steam generator tube issues for decades. First, we will be hearing from the NRC staff about some of that history, the agency's oversight of licensee steam generator programs, recently observed tube degradation mechanisms, operating experience, and details on the design basis accident for steam generators. Following the staff presentation, we'll hear from seven external panelists representing the Electric Power Research Institute, Mitsubishi Heavy Industries, Arriva, Westinghouse, Southern California Edison, Atomic Energy of Canada, and the Committee to Bridge the Gap. Let me say at the outset that it is important to stress that the following issues should not be discussed with respect to the ongoing adjudicatory proceeding associated with the March 27, 2012 confirmatory action letter issued by the NRC to Southern California Edison Company for a San Onofre nuclear generating station. Two issues in particular. One, whether the confirmatory action letter constitutes a de facto license amendment that would be subject to a hearing opportunity under the Atomic Energy Act, and if so, two, whether Friends of the Earth's pending intervention petition satisfies the pro pro procedural requirements for a petition to intervene. Before we get started, let me uh, ask if any of my fellow commissioners would like to make any comments. No? Nope. Okay. In that case, we will uh, turn it over to the NRC staff, uh, in particular to the Executive Director of Operations, Bill Borchard. Thank you, Chairman. Actually, Eric's going to begin the presentation today. So. Okay, great. Thank you, Bill. Thank you, Chairman, uh, Commissioners. Good afternoon. Today, the staff will be giving you a presentation on steam generator tube degradation and its significance. Certainly, steam generator tubes are important to safety because they serve both as a reactor coolant pressure boundary as well as a containment boundary. If not managed effectively, steam generator tube degradation can be risk significant. As the chairman mentioned, the NRC staff expends significant resources monitoring uh, steam generator performance across the industry, uh, and we focus our oversight on the safe operation of steam generators. Personnel in uh, the Office of Nuclear Reactor Regulation are responsible for reviewing licensee proposals related to steam generator tube integrity and for reviewing licensee inspection results. In the regions, there are inspectors that inspect licensee steam generator programs at every nuclear power plant. And in addition, the Office of Nuclear Reactor Reg uh, Research has an active steam generator research program which looks, which looks primarily at steam generator inspection and integrity issues. We have two staff presenters today. Chris Jackson, the branch chief of the reactor systems branch in NRR, will be discussing safety analysis related to steam generators. Chris will be followed by Ken Kowarski, the senior level advisor for steam generators. Ken will provide an overview of steam generator degradation, including some recent issues, and the staff's oversight of licensee steam generator programs. So with that, let me turn this over to... to